Hi everyone. Now today in Sri Lanka Morning Show program we have a very multi-talented, multi-award winning TV presenter, singer and an educator. She is none other than Nylene Hunter. So first of all, Nylene, we would like to welcome you to the Sri Lanka Morning Show program. Thank you to Shara. It's great to be here. And I'm very honored to interview you <laughs> because <laughs> you. Um, you're one of the best and one of the my one of my favorite presenters in Sri Lanka. Thank you. Um, Nalin, first of all, I think our viewers would like to know, they know more about you, but still, I would like to know how you started your career. When did you start your career? Actually, my career started when I was a kid. Right. When, uh, let's say, when I was about seven or eight years old, I used to listen to the radio, and there was no television in Sri Lanka at that time. I used to listen to the radio, especially the radio news. Mm -hmm. And there was a presenter called Merle Williams. She was very well known and, and she was a great presenter. And I used to listen to her reading the news. So she would say, here's the news read by uh, Merle Williams and then read the, singer, the English news on radio. And when she finishes, I used to take the newspaper. I was about seven years old, but I could read very well, actually. So uh, I used to take the newspaper and I say, here's the news read by Norlene Mendis. I was a Mendis then. That's right. And then read, read it from the newspaper. So right. that's from the very beginning, I wanted to be a presenter, right. an announcer. They used to call us announcers then. I wanted to be a presenter. And um, my singing career also started by that started by accident actually because my uncle was a an award-winning recordist at SLB, SLBC at then it was Radio Salon mm -hmm. and uh, he uh, used to hear me sing and when we used to be a musical family all of us mm -hmm. so we used to get together and Gatherings. you know have parties and yes. all that and I used to take a broomstick and present and pretend that I was a singer. singer and I used to sing with the broomstick but he used to hear me and he, st he thought that I could sing. Mm -hmm. So then one day he got me to record the city of Colombo which is very famous in Sri Lanka and uh, that is how I actually well I got into the recording scene but uh, before So you first started recording as a singer not as a presenter? Not as a presenter, no. right? but uh, as a singer, I, I went for an audition because mm -hmm. one of my other uncles, he, he thought that I could sing and he took me for an audition for, a, for um, you know, it was called Elasto's Moving Designs, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, that was a competition, it was a competitive show. And uh, well, I went there and I was auditioned because they had to audition people to put them on the, on the program. Mm -hmm. And so I, I remember I sang the song Yesterday by the Beatles. And uh, it was a famous entrepreneur, you know, he, he was uh, the guy who was auditioning me, right. was a famous guy in Sri Lanka. He was called Malcolm Andre. He died well, about five years ago, I think. But he used to promote musicians and singers. And I was about 13 years old then. And when I went there, uh, he heard me sing at the audition. Then he came up to me. And he said, he used to call me darling. He said, darling, do you want to sing for the competition? I said, yes, because obviously that's where I went there. Then, he, then I asked why I wasn't good. Yeah. He said, you, you were better than good. Yeah. And then he said, uh, I don't want you to sing for the competition. I want you to sing as a guest performer on the show. Right. So that's how I started, as a guest performer mm -hmm. rather than a competitor. Right. And that's how my career began. Right. It's very interesting. Now. I know now, apart from singing and presenting, later you became a very well-known educator in Sri Lanka. So can you please let us know what did you do as an educator in Sri Lanka? What did you do for well, the community? Well, I, I, as a television, I was a television presenter for a long time right. and uh, lots of people knew me because I was a of television course. presenter and they, they kind of liked my English pronunciation That's as well. Right. So, um, Lots of people wrote to me, my fans wrote to me and said, why don't you open a school? Why don't you, you know, start training us, you know, to, to speak hmm. because of the pronunciation. So I didn't do it at that time, but later on I thought, well, why not? 
and that's how I started, you know, educating people in English. Mm -hmm. So it is not only just speaking English, but when you speak English, you have to pronounce your words correctly. Mm -hmm. So I taught pronunciation skills as well, and also business communication. And then um, I also um, taught television presentation because uh, as a television presenter I was the one who uh, I was one of the senior presenters there yes. so I was the one who made the rosters for the you know for the presenters and uh, I trained them as well right. when I was there so uh, that's how I began my career as a presenter from there I went on to teaching IELTS and also uh, you know other things that are associated with English Right. Now, you, ju you just mentioned a very interesting point, IELTS, because lots of our viewers, especially the Sri Lankan community and the other international student community in Australia, so it's a crucial requirement for them to get through IELTS or the PTE these days. Yes. Now, I think the Sri Lankan community here, not only the Sri Lankan community, the whole, the whole community, the student community can get lots of support from here for their English yes, requirements. Yes, I've, I've also moved into PTA now. Right. And uh, yes, so I could, I could teach them and I think that would be, uh, you know, a good way for me to train our people, not only Sri Lankans, as you mentioned, but people in Australia who are interested in doing the PTA and succeeding. Yes. I could train them. In case if they want to contact you, how they can contact Nalini? Well, they can um, they can call me. Yes, because if you please uh, mention your phone number for us. My number is zero four five zero one eight five double two one. Shall I repeat that? Please zero four five zero one eight five double two one. That's where you can contact me. Thank you so much. And uh, one last thing. Now I know that you have s you sung lots of. English songs, but I've heard that very recently you've done your own single song. Is that well, true? Uh, yes, I have, but it's not my own song. It's a song that was popularized for a long time by uh, Miriam Makeba, who's right. an African artist, mm -hmm. and she sang it originally in uh, Swahili that language uh -huh. and of course I used to sing it in Swahili and it was very popular in Sri Lanka when I sang it but then uh, most recently uh, one of my friends said well why don't you do it in Singhala, Singhala. and then we got someone to write it uh, the guy who wrote it was Kumar De Silva is a very good musician and the person who kind of you know he persuaded me to do it in Singhala was Sohan Sohan Veera Singh as you of know he's a, he's a well known well singer known so I said okay why not and then I recorded it and we did the video as well right. but Have I you didn't launch it, it. I oh, didn't right. launch it in Sri Lanka yet uh, but I'm planning to launch it for the first time here in Australia and then I will launch it in They're very Shilang. fortunate. Hey, 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 hey. It's a brand new thing, it's a remix. Once again, it's another Bach Panikias. Along with the Queen of Pac Noil in Honda. Rude boy, make you wonder. Pata Pata sound. Now go worldwide. Dance for the memories. Now don't stop now, Rude boy. Bring back the memories once again. We would like to have you once again in Sri Lanka Morning Show program and uh, Actually I am doing a program on the Sri Lanka Morning Show, a regular program which is called uh, Music Matters where I'm interviewing artists from around the world, Sri Lankan artists from around the world. Interesting. And, yeah and, they, they, and we play back their songs of course. Nimal Alvis is the man to contact, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so, so that people can be weekly, you know, see Nalin uh, on television. It's not weekly; it's a fortnightly program. So once in two weeks, we'll have the program. Right. We've already done part of it actually, right. and there it has been telecast with Esrik Jackson. Yeah, that's right. All right, thanks, Nalin, once again. Uh, we would like to have you, uh, you know, in Sri Lanka Morning Show program, uh, especially. Uh, to talk about your new songs to be, uh, Sinhalese songs especially. 
And well, thank you. I, I hope to do more Sinhala songs. Let's see how Looking this one goes. To. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much and good luck for that. Thank you to Shara for interviewing me on this program on the Sri Lanka Morning Show. It's been um, a great thing for me to be here and I'm honored to be on the Sri Lanka Morning Show. Thank you. And thanks to the viewers who've been watching the program. I hope that you will watch Music Matters and everything that you know, we, we telecast here on the Sri Lanka Morning Show. Thank you. Sri Lanka.